Hello everybody, this is part 2 of modeling a generic mouse. As you can see on screen, I've already created the necessary construction curves to create the other parts of the mouse. Okay, let's start. Okay, now I'm going to create the base surface for the mouse using the surface from planner curves command. Okay, joining the surfaces into a solid. Let's check the surface quality using the zebra analysis. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to generate the parting lines that will separate the top and the bottom half of the mouse. Okay, to do that, I will use the silhouette command. Okay, this is the parting line. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to project the parting line onto a flat plane. Okay, projecting the curve onto the rectangular plane. Let's rebuild the surf the curve to reduce the number of control points. Let's hide away the unnecessary elements. Okay, now let's project the parting line onto the surface itself. This time around, we will do create the gap between the parting lines. Okay, I'm going to do a little bit of uh, adjustments to make the, the front part a bit uh, wider so that uh, this will aid in the easier clicking of the left and right button on the mouse. Projecting the, create the adjusted curve onto the mouse body. Okay, we got the, the parting lines. Let's remove some of the unnecessary curves on the surfaces. Okay, now what I'm going to do is to actually uh, create the, the parting lines for the front portion of the mouse. Do a bit of adjustment. Project. Moving away the unnecessary curve on the surface. Creating the lower parting line for the front portion. Okay, now let's join the parting lines. Okay, now I'm going to create a surface using patch. 
that will be used to cut the mouse along the parting lines. Go to do a cut using the boolean split. As you can see, I've already created a cut. Okay, now I'm doing the same for the lower parting line. Using patch to create the surface that will be used for the boolean split. Okay, can delete away the unnecessary region. You can see we have create we have uh, cut the mouse into a top and a bottom half. Let's proceed to create the scroll wheel. This should be quite easy to be done. Going to press and hold the shift key for a proportional blending of the sides. Now let's join the surfaces together to make it into a solid object. Yeah, we're done. View the scroll wheel. Okay, now I'm going to create some intersected curves on surface to define the gap region between the scroll wheel and the top half of the mouse. Let's mirror the offset curve on the surface, join the curves together, let's rebuild the curve to reduce the number of control points. <coughs> okay, now let's um, proceed to project the curve on surface that will be used to create the left and right button of the mouse. Okay, we already done that. Now I'm trimming away the unnecessary regions of the curves and joining them into the various uh, elements. Okay, I'm creating a curve extension by the corners so that when when a surface is created, it has uh, enough uh, region to cut or split the solid effectively later on. Joining the curves. Okay, let's bring back all the other parts. Okay, 
Okay, what I'm going to do next is to create the rail curve that will be used to create the, the surface to be used to do the splitting of the top part of the mouse into its uh, various uh, portions. Okay, using the sweep one rail to create the surface. Okay, now I'm pressing and con uh, holding the control key to uh, relocate the uh, the pivot of the gumball. Okay, let's move the surface to a position that will facilitate a easier cut or easier boolean split. Now I'm checking to see whether there are any gaps between the joint surfaces. So far it looks good. Let's do a little bit of fillet at the corner. joining the surfaces again before we proceed to do a boolean split. Now what I'm going to do is uh, create the surface that will be used to cut the middle section of the top region of the mouse. Press the control key. Move the rail to a new location let's do a sweep one rail again i think i need to reposition the surface Let's do a boolean split first. Okay, great. The boolean split is uh, successful. The first, the first part is successful. <coughs> Let's reposition this surface for a more effective cut. Press and hold the control key. Click. Sorry. Relocate gumball. Okay, now check the surface for any naked edge. So far it looks okay. We need to do this to ensure that the cut will be a successful one. Okay, the boolean split seems to be successful. Let's remove the unnecessary regions. Okay, I need, need to uh, make a mirror copy of the mouse button to the other half. Okay, we are almost done with the creation of the various uh, parts. Okay. Now let's bring back everything and remove 
or hide the unnecessary element so that you can proceed to do some visualization work uh, by applying uh, pre-made materials from the libraries. So far it looks okay. Okay, now let's um find a suitable color for the scroll wheel. Let's see. I think this will do. Okay, I think we are almost done. Hope that this uh, video has been useful to you. See you around. Bye.